If you have hip flexor tightness, you probably wondered, is this something that can be actually assessed? Can we actually know if the hip flexor is short or not? Well, the modified Thomas test is an excellent way. I'm gonna show you how we do it at the office today. A modified Thomas test is a great way to test actual hip flexor length to see if you have actually a short hip flexor because a lot of people don't. They just feel like it's short. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually test this side. So she's going to bring this side to her chest. There you go. So we're doing it passively right there. She's going to lock it down and then roll back and I'll help her leg up. And now I just have to really make sure she has her trunk engaged and she keeps her back flat against the table here because the hip flexor does pull on to that section of the low back and it can yank it upward. So now we're going to lower her leg as far as she possibly can without me pushing it down to see if actually she goes almost further than parallel to the table here. And actually you're seeing some positive findings here. I know that we had a different camera angle, but if this pillow wasn't here, then she should get below parallel to the table. I usually test this on a different table. Now, if you notice here that she has actually the leg outward this way, bringing the leg down to 90, this is more of a uh, negative test, which would mean that her, her long quad muscle, her rectus femoris, as well as her hip flexor are actually normal length. So again, if she's testing out here, the rectus femoris, which is the one which goes all the way down into the kneecap, is possibly uh, actually tight. And again, if this was right here, but it lift it up that way even further this would be a positive tight hip flexor or hip flexor contraction.